Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. We're on the little table today because we still can't use the main table because I'm still building that aeroplane or glider. No, it's not a glider, is it? It's rubber band power. Anyway, I'll put the camera on a tripod and we'll have a look at this little charity shop haul. Okay, four items today. I'll do this one first. I've looked at these before in the charity shops, well, and in other places where they sell them new. It's just a little pullback toy. I wasn't going to buy it, and then I looked at it, and I noticed he's running on nitrous oxide. I just thought that's such such a fun little touch to have him running on nitrogen and oxygen that uh, I'd have to buy him and give him a try. Obviously, he's not really running on nitrous oxide. He's on a pullback. But I thought he was worth keeping just for that bit of fun. He's got a great smile too. So, that cost me 49 pence. Next shop, I was looking at this because people like seeing train videos. Again, 49 pence. Uh, who's that made by? MGA Entertainment Limited. Milton Keynes in the UK. Well, what caught my eye was it clearly has batteries in it and I couldn't see any operating buttons anywhere. I was standing in the shop looking at it and then I actually pressed that button. And I was expecting it to stop. And it didn't. Eventually, after quite a bit of embarrassment, I realised you just had to press the same button again. But I bought it anyway, because it's clearly got an electric motor in it. So I reckon I can just run that round, put a camera behind it, just for a bit of fun. I'll do that in a minute. Next. In one of my recent videos I mentioned that my grandsons have suddenly got excited and into these Beyblade spinners. So I've been looking for them in the charity shops and we got this one. Absolutely brand new, in the box, never been opened. I've no idea what they cost brand new. Is there a price on it? No, I don't see a price on it. This one's probably a collector's item still in the box. <laughs> Don't see a date on it either. But £1.50 that cost me. So hopefully my grandsons will appreciate it. Oh, 2010 Hasbro. Looks very similar to the ones that I picked up in the recycling centre the other day. Looks like the same sort of connection on that. So that's that one, £1.50. And then finally, a book. Bit of an investment, I suppose you'd call this, because none of my grandchildren are into robot building at the moment. I don't know when they might get onto that sort of thing at school. This one actually cost me two pounds. But it's a fairly comprehensive book. It's got a few circuits in there. 
Explain that. The H bridge? Yeah, great. Always good to see an H bridge. There's some code in there for PIC controllers and other controllers, I think I spotted. So that looks like it might be, as I say, an investment in case they want to know about them at a later date. I don't really intend to get involved in it myself. I did spot a few things in there about how to use components from other items. So that's a hacked passive infrared detector. Uh, I noticed some toys that they'd been taken apart to use the bits. Probably can't find it now. The hacked yak back can be used to store and play short sound snips. Tamiya bulldozer taken apart. Oh, there we are. Furby. So, yeah, they um, do rather appeal to me in that they use components from other toys as well. So, interesting book, that one. Right, that's it. I might just rig that one up so he goes around in a circle. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.